In the recent quarterly earnings reports from both Intel and AMD, it's clear that they're both players in the booming artificial intelligence sector. With this in mind, let's delve into a comparative analysis of these two tech giants to determine which might be the superior AI stock to consider investing in right now. We'll assess various factors including revenue, profit, cash flow, balance sheet strength, valuation, and Wall Street's outlook for the next five years. By the end, we'll draw a conclusion on which one seems like the smarter investment choice at present. Hey guys, welcome to Stocks Price Analysis. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. Let's start with revenue. Looking back over the past decade, Intel's revenue growth has plateaued, hovering around $1.55 billion in the most recent trailing 12 months, roughly where it stood a decade ago. This stagnation can be attributed to the slowdown in personal computer sales, especially notable after the pandemic-induced surge. Similarly, AMD, operating in the same industry, is also experiencing a decline in revenue. Their business landscape is mixed, with one segment catering to the thriving artificial intelligence market, while another segment serving the CPU and gaming market is witnessing a downturn. However, both Intel and AMD are poised to benefit from the expected rebound in the personal computing industry, which has already commenced and is projected to gain momentum, particularly as AI technology becomes more integrated into these systems. Now, let's examine profit margins over the last decade. Intel has historically held an advantage, but AMD has been making significant strides, nearly matching Intel's operating profit margin towards the end of 2022. However, both companies face challenges due to the abrupt shift in consumer spending habits towards services like travel and entertainment, negatively impacting their profitability. Looking ahead, analysts predict that AMD will deliver earnings per share growth of 20 to 8 percent over the next five years, representing a notable slowdown from its previous five-year growth rate of 54 percent. However, there's a belief that analysts might be underestimating AMD's growth potential, especially considering the successful launch of its latest generation GPU for AI, the Mi 300X. This product is expected to gain market share as corporations seek to diversify away from NVIDIA, which currently dominates the market. Conversely, analysts seem overly optimistic about Intel's potential rebound, projecting an earnings per share growth of 36.8% over the next five years. However, given Intel's recent decline in earnings per share and ongoing investments in the foundry business, some skepticism remains about the achievability of such robust growth. Turning to cash flow from operations, Intel holds an advantage over AMD currently. However, AMD's cash flow has been steadily increasing over the years, narrowing the gap. It wouldn't be surprising if AMD closes this discrepancy further in the next five years. Now, let's assess their balance sheets. Intel appears more leveraged, with $52 billion in debt compared to $21 billion in cash and short-term investments. This debt largely stems from investments in expanding their foundry business, a move expected to pay off amidst soaring demand for semiconductors. On the other hand, AMD boasts a healthier balance sheet with $6 billion in cash and $4.4 billion in long-term debt, providing more flexibility for growth opportunities. Considering valuation metrics, Intel is trading at a forward price to earnings ratio of 16, while AMD commands a ratio of 21. Given AMD's promising prospects in the AI sector and its stronger balance sheet, the premium valuation seems justified. In conclusion, while both Intel and AMD present viable investment opportunities, AMD appears to be the better choice at present. Its potential for growth in the AI market, coupled with a healthier balance sheet, make it a compelling investment option. However, it's worth noting that both stocks are rated as buys, reflecting their respective strengths and potential for future growth. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.